Hi guys, it's Miss Mireya with today's book. It's called Who Hatches the Egg? All About Eggs. A Dr. Seuss book by Tish Rabe, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz and Joe Matthew. This book is a little bit long, so I will read a little faster than usual. Let's get started. Who hatches the eggs? I'm the cat in the hat. We must leave right away. Can you guess what I'm cooking for breakfast today? Eggs. They're delicious, boiled, scrambled, or fried. Come on and jump in and let's go for a ride. Most eggs that we eat come from chickens, it's true. But eggs come from many different animals too. Laying eggs is what birds, insects, and spiders do. Most amphibians, fish, and reptiles do too. Insects, birds, spiders, amphibians, fish, reptiles. When you look at eggs, you find lots of surprises. They have different shapes, different colors, and sizes. This bird's egg is cone-shaped. She laid it on this ledge. Cone-shaped eggs cannot roll. They won't fall off the edge. On this egg are spirals that help it to grip onto rocks or in sand so the egg will not slip. Lace wings lay eggs on stalks hanging from plants. This helps to keep them safe from hungry ants. What shape are insect eggs? Here we can see that their eggs may be oval, round, long, thin, or flat. Let's see a few of them. Ladybug oval egg, giant swallowtail butterfly, round egg, polyphemus moth, disc-like egg, anopheles mosquito, long and thin egg. Eggs are all kinds of colors, red, white, green, or blue. Salmon eggs, trout eggs, green striped maple worm eggs, eastern bluebird egg, cassowary eggs, emu eggs, chicken eggs, tinamou eggs, aphid eggs. Some have different patterns like these eggs here do. Osprey eggs, golden eagle egg, prothonotary warbler eggs, honey buzzard egg, gull eggs, Harlequin bug eggs, crow eggs, owl butterfly eggs. Some mothers build nests and lay their eggs inside them. Nests are one way that a mother can hide them. A crocodile digs a hole for her nest in the ground, then covers it with dirt, leaves, and grass in a mound. Not all nests are made in the same size and shape. This nest is a shallow hole that's called a scrape. Some birds dig a scrape and line it with vegetation, which helps keep eggs warm. It's natural insulation. Northern Pintail. A sea turtle crawls out of the sea onto land and then digs a hole for her nest in the sand. Will she have boys or girls? That depends on which part of the nest they are laid in. Here, look at this chart. Deep in the cool sand, boys will likely be born. Girls usually hatch up where the sand is warm. Warmer sand, cooler sand. Not all birds build nests. This owl you can see may lay her eggs in a hollow tree. This cuckoo found a bird nest and laid her egg there. 
Then she flew off and left it in the other bird's care. Cuckoo, warbler, here's the nest. Some mothers watch over the eggs that they lay, but some lay their eggs and then leave right away. A Nile crocodile guards her nest day and night. If a predator comes, it is in for a fight. This butterfly lays eggs, then leaves them behind. They are green and blend in and are hard to find. Eastern Swallowtail Butterfly. Some animals' dads are never about, but some stay around and are there to help out. Till they hatch, this male toad will carry his eggs in long strings of jelly that circle his legs. Midwife Toad. To keep his eggs safe, a dad jawfish will hide the eggs in his mouth, which, is, which he keeps open wide. You can see for this dad, it is not an easy feat. For five to seven days, he can't drink and can't eat. A seahorse is a fish. And what seahorse dads do is give birth to their babies. It's amazing, but true. This fish looks like a horse with a long curled up tail. The female lays her eggs in a pouch on the male. The male holds the eggs in his pouch till the day he gives birth to the babies which soon float away. Most mammals don't lay eggs, but manatrines do. And platypus lay eggs. And echidna <laughs> does too. An echidna lays an egg that is oval in shape. It is small and about the same size as this grape. When it hatches, a baby called a pugil breaks out by using an egg tooth on the end of its snout. <laughs> a platypus digs two burrows, a plain one for resting and one lined with leaves. That one is for nesting. She lays up the three eggs, and as I have seen, each egg is the size of a pink jelly bean. After three or four months, her babies can swim. They get to the water and then glide right in. How do little chicks grow? I will show you the way. A little chick grows over 21 days. The egg yolk provides food while the chick grows in there. And while it grows, it needs to get air. There are holes in the shell. Through these pores, the air flows in and out, out and in, as a little chick grows. This is the way the chick looks on day three. She's tiny and looks like a small letter C. Here's a chick on day seven. After only one week, look closely. You'll see she is growing a beak. By day 12, she can wiggle and bumps will begin to pop out all over her little chick skin. These will turn into feathers. It's day 21, the chick's ready to hatch and her growing is done. An egg tooth on her beak helps the chick begin chipping. The process of breaking the shell is called pipping. Cracking open the shell is not easy and takes all the little chick's strength till the shell finally breaks. Now she's out in the air. Her feathers dry quick. Very soon she'll turn into a cute fluffy chick. In five or six months, she will be fully grown and able to start laying eggs of her own. Here is a hard question, the kind that is worst. The chicken or the egg? Do you know which came first? The end. Hope you enjoyed this. See you soon, guys.